Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we have another quickie switch review. Today we're looking at the CIY Red Lotus Linear Switch. Now I've got to say, switches are becoming much cheaper and much better at the same time. They're going in directions that are very consumer friendly. So um, CIY switches have always been known to be um, very inexpensive. Uh, these do not break that mold. Uh, this is a linear switch that comes in at roughly 20 cents a piece. Uh, these were sent to me by KP Republic. Uh, they sent me over some small batches of switches to see if there was any that interested me. And so far, the CIY switches have be, been very interesting, to say the least. Now, the specs on this, it has a PC top housing, a nylon bottom housing, a POK puck stem, and a spring that's around 21 millimeters. Now, this is a, a long boy. It's a single stage. Now, it does have an operating force of 45 grams, plus or minus 5 grams, and it does actually feel like that. It has a total travel of 3.3 millimeters, meaning that it does have a nice long pole stem that you can see the taper off there, and it does. This poke material is quite interesting. It's, it's slippery, similar to how palm is, but maybe even more so. Now it does say that this is stem lubricated and the stem definitely feels that greasiness from it as well. So, but I did not feel any on the actual spring itself, though there's no ping to speak of. Now I went ahead and loaded three of these up under the D, F, and G key. On the rest of the board, I have Akko CS Vintage White uh, these are stock, they're not lubricated. So I'm just doing a quick comparison between the two. So here's the CIY Red Lotus. Compared to the Akko Vintage CS White. I gotta say, these CIY switches are very interesting, especially this POC stem. I mean, it delivers what is muted, but is also very deep. It's not like completely muted. It's just not as loud as the vintage white, but it definitely delivers more of a deeper tone. Now, if you're looking for a linear that is gonna deliver more of a thocky, creamy sound profile and you're on a budget, this actually may be one to consider. Um, I'm going to add this to the list uh, to request that KP Republic send me out an entire batch so that I can load an entire board up with this. This is the kind of switch I think I could use on a daily basis. And I'm more of a tactile guy myself, but I like how it feels. The bottom out is so soft. There's no harshness there to it at all. It's almost like a pillow for your fingertip, even though it's not a silent switch. So this is, uh, yeah, this is interesting. I'm definitely going to be making a more in-depth review of this switch as well as come up with the other CIYs I've been taking a look at because they, they've delivered us good keyboards. Now they're delivering us some really nice switches at a very economical price. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.